Hey folks, I was just going through all my uh, old fishing gear that I haven't used in a few years because uh, I plan to take my daughter out to do a little bit of crabbing. And I wanted to uh, briefly discuss with you the differences in netting that you have. On the left, you have a typical dip net, okay? Now I see people using this for crabbing all the time. There's pros and cons, but in the end, it's not the right choice. This is a landing net, okay? Dip it in the water, fish get stuck in, okay? It's not very useful for trying to catch crab with. The crawl over the top, crawl right out. Okay, you can use it. You need to secure a bait box to the center. You need to weight it down. But in the end, it's not your best choice. What I've learned to use is one of these. Okay. It has four collapsible supports. It has a bungee to help tighten up the netting. In the center, it has a built-in bait box. Just go ahead and use a uh, clip of some sort, tie it shut. A lot of times what I'll do is, uh, depending on what I have, like a bag of anchovies or uh, uh, some squid, is I'll go ahead and throw the bag in there with a couple ribs in the bag. And then I'll put it in there, seal it up. Now I'll attach weights to the center ring. That way it's lying flat on the bottom. Because the last thing you want is for your net to be moving around in the waves. Okay, you're not going to catch anything like that. Now, what's cool about these, right, is that it does have a sidewall. So the crab comes up the side, crawls over, gets in here, and it gets stuck. Just like a normal fish trap, right? Uh, they can't seem to figure a way out. It works. Okay, and works well. Got uh, numerous types of crabs. Uh, everything from Dungeness to rock crab, right? You know, I'll eat them all. As long as they're legal, check with the local laws. Okay, now the way you have this set up. Is you have this nice snap ring up the top. And what you need to do is you need to have a buoy, right? This is going to have it so it's floating above the net. Because if you uh, don't have that in there, what ends up happening is that all this gets inside. And a lot of the times, the crab crawls right out. So you need to have a float above it. And another word of warning, you guys, you need to keep your line up. You don't want to let... A hundred foot of line floating around your pier. It's just going to take everyone's line up. Everyone's going to get pissed off. Start throwing weights at you or something like that. So know your depth. So when you're at the pier, drop it down. See where your line is. Hold it back up for a minute. Put another buoy on it with a couple weights beneath it. And that's going to keep your line from floating all over the place. You know, and getting tangled and around the piers or uh, the pillars or other people's lines. Uh, there's setups that you can look up how to do it, but, uh, you know, I see some of the amateurs out there and uh, their nets get tangled around the pillars. Uh, they get tangled around people's lines. It's a big hassle. They're not catching anything. You know, there's a, just being annoying, right? They're disrupting everyone else's fishing day, you know? So take your time, learn your gear, learn what's good, what's bad. But it's okay. You can get by with the net on the left. But if you're going to go for crabbing, you want to go with the one on the right. And again, you know, these are preferable when you're fishing from a boat or directly down from a pier. You don't want to throw these off in the jetties. Uh, they'll get tangled in the rocks. They'll snag your net. Never get it back. So, again. This is what I use for crabbing. That's what I use for uh, pure fishing. If I'm going to go out for striper or what have you, you know, some of those piers are 50 foot up. You know, you need something to bring that fish up. This is good for that. If you're looking for crab, that's good for that. Holes are too big for crawdad, so don't even bother. But uh, you'd be surprised. You know, I've caught starfish, sand shark, you know. These are good. It'll also be good for lobster. I've been meaning to go down to uh, Southern California, you know, during lobster season, drop some of these out. But, uh, anyways, hope this was uh, helpful for you guys. You have a good day. Take it easy.